Welcome to Iron to Diamond, where I pick the top voted champions and build suggestions from your comments below and play them in the next video. Today's pick is Korean Tarek Jungle, as voted by you guys. Right, so before jumping into the game, I did win one, and unfortunately, my mic was muted the whole time, so I have to record another one. This was actually a really good game too, so sad, because my bot lane and mid lane were losing really hard. A few moments later. I wasn't able to play a turret game because I got filled into mid lane. I uh, tried to play the Korean Trindomir build and then we went down to get a double kill on Zaya and then she decides to run it down after we get that double kill. So now she is 1 in 18. <laughs> um, I don't think that was a game to feature, so let's try to get that turret game. Eventually. Right, so let's jump into the game, we're going to be playing some jungle Tarik with a lot of slows. This build is actually used in high elo, so I'll link the op.ggs on the screen right now. They're played on NA and also Korea in high elo. I just want to make sure that I get the bush right, because uh, we don't need potions for this. Also, op.gg and the runes are on screen right now. Also, the build is on screen as well. So, I can just drop a ward here. And then we'll also drop a ward somewhere here to just have like good vision for our mid laner. Then after that we'll start red. So the idea is we're like a support tank champion. So we enable, we slow them, and then we get stuns, we get slows, and then we get really tanky. But if you want to carry, you could go Divine Sundra. We're going for the Korean build, so there's no Divine Sundra in this one. Hmm, I'm not getting a leash this game. That's not good. So, because we need blue really badly, we're going to get blue right away. So we go red into blue, and then we'll clear down into raptors, and then we grab a scuttle. That way we'll have a decent time in the jungle, and if we start on top side, we just start blue. So while that's happening, we could... Get a smite off, then keep kiting towards Grom. So yeah, you can see that our jungle clear is actually pretty decent, like we're just smacking camps really fast. And that's all there is to it really. And I'm planning to gank for bot, especially because bot's ahead. Unless I see an opportunity. Truth is worth fighting for, but beauty is worth dying for. So yeah, we're just rotating through our abilities, sort of like a Lee Sin. And just try to be as fast as we can. We are kind of behind on time. This is when we should have cleared Raptors by now, but we didn't get the best leash. And I probably messed up somewhere. So I think this is fine. Alright, so 3 minute 30 scuttle, that's very slow. At this point, we want to look and see which lanes are gankable. Also, Fiddle hasn't showed up. So, Tarek mains would not put a point in Q, but uh, I can't be bothered. It's just for mana efficiency reasons. Oh. No! Okay, I'm messing up. I'm on the wrong end. <laughs> oh. Oh crap, I don't have anything up. Oh, I got the slow off. Oh. Okay. No, nah, I, I needed to order to get my abilities back, but I just cast them all and I also went the wrong side, so that was completely my bad. Uh, I messed up there. I thought I could come here and then smite over the wall, but I don't think my smite's long enough range. So here we could look for a lane gank.
Bot lane's doing pretty well. Each life is a rare jewel. Just go back to clearing. Think she needs oh. An ally has been slain. Okay, she overstayed Human there. Oh, what the? I'll put a ward for dragon and then move towards top side again. Unfortunately, we didn't get a gank off here. Actually, this is doable if they fight this. Okay, if not, we could push out. I, find all Except yours. I wanna get this dragon, since they're probably backing right now. So let's just check and grab an early dragon. Should be able to do this. Like, I'm very sure they backed, so this is free. Pop a biscuit here because we're like very starved and want to make sure we grab this ASAP. I don't want to over chase and then run into them. Okay, let's go get our buffs and then we'll look for maybe a top side game. Okay, so now we'll work towards red and blue. Have to start a two auto attacks in between each ability. And we get a lot of mana regen from our jungle item. Oh, looks like Fiddle's already up there. Wanna look for Rift Herald very soon as well. That's what a good jungler should do is gank where we can, but try to secure the objectives as priority. So right now we got a dragon under our belt and we want to get a pre- Oh, what the? This is not good. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we don't fight that one. Okay. Oh, they stole my blue. Okay, this is all quite new to me, so let's see what can we do. I don't think we can solo this Zed. Unless he straight up fights us, but then, yeah, I don't know. Okay, actually, let's just do this. See what happens. We're all headed for the same inevitable end. Oh, I actually got a flash, that's not bad. Let's do a cheeky rift. We can probably get a scuttle crab that's spawning too. Especially because we see Fiddle there. We could just grab both while we're at it. And then we can drop this rift into whichever lane 
uh, we can drop it into to get some Tau please. Make sure we get that 100 gold. There's one. Nice. We somehow got an assist there. Try to heal him. There we go. We're healing him quite nicely too. Pop a shield on him. I feel like he wants to dive, so I'm sort of just encouraging him. <laughs> Probably not the best idea. Oh, that's a kill. No. Never mind. I thought Silas wanted it. It looked like he wanted to do some plays because of uh, the way he positioned himself. So, I was more than happy to... Uh, there's too many people mid at the moment. Oh. I'm looking to drop Rift very soon, so... See what happens. Oh. oh, he's still fighting? What in the world? The mountain's question is unique. Okay, let's head down there. Alright, that's actually perfect. So now we can just drop rift. And because it's just under 3,000 health, we should be able to take it down very easily. And we'll get a second charge off too. So while that's happening, we can go for Dragon. So that's two charge Rift Herald and a Dragon. So that's our second Dragon. Um, let's try to get some help here. So once we get our Chem Tank, we can start just running them down. So we see anyone, we can just run at them with chem tank, and then we proc the slow. Also, it looks like Fiddle's coming, so we better do this quick. Okay, they're having a fight. Okay, let's go to the fight. All right, let's push it in. I feel like going here is so deep, but we, we could get it, like, I'll support. The mountain's are no Someone's coming with Predator? It looks like Beetle. Okay. Right. Oh, I thought we were gonna dive. Okay, that's fine. Because, like, seeing... Tarek or wouldn't you just go in for the finisher? Wouldn't you just go in for the finisher, just finish off that guy and that's it? Like, I, I thought he would go for it. I feel like such a support though, playing this champion. But it's very strong in team fights, especially because you literally make everyone on your team have a Trinomir ult. Like, how strong is that? So I'll get this and then recall on the spot probably. Actually, I'll get these two camps and then recall. So that we can just focus on top side after. I guess our jungle clear is decent for the fact that we're going to just build tank items only. Should be fine. I really need to recall. Like, I have so much gold. I guess because they have um, Fiddle as CC, I'll get Merc Treads. And then we'll pick up items for Randuins. Randuins is going to proc our 
a glacial augment as well, so that'll be a really nice slope. Oh wait, Caitlyn stepped up. That was silly. The best weapons. Wait, he's going in by himself. What? Let me show you something. Okay, let's work towards top now because mid is looking pretty good. And now we just need to get top pushed in. Let's see. Jace is actually very gankable, and my ult's coming up perfectly once this camp dies. It will be up. The mid's going so deep. Okay. Uh, oh. That's a one for one. Oh, I wish I have a sweeper right now. Okay, it looks like that's warded. Okay, so we put two points in W, and then we start maxing Q. That's what I see the Tarek main to do. There we go, that's... Oh, I missed. Oh, that still hit me. Oh, rip. There we go. We're so tanky, by the way, because we have, like, part Randuans. Oh, wait, I should have aimed that properly. <laughs> Tarek Doug was so dumb. Get the slow aura. Lol. This is so strong. I'm just healing off of them. Like, they're doing negative damage to me. I'll go back to full health now. Everything's so spammable. Oh yeah, Caitlyn should go do that dragon for me. I'm just annihilating top lane. This duo lane top lane. Imagine playing, like, Tarek support's pretty strong. Okay. Oh, rip. Okay, that's too deep. Tell him to go back. So, let's work towards a dead man's now. Have a lot of move speed as well. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he muted my pings, but he should have went back. Like, that was so deep and gave away, like, a big shutdown. I gave all the kills to him as well. I think with the PTA variant of Tarek, you do a lot more damage with PTA. So there are other variants of this build, and you can also go to Bind Sundra for extra damage. So this build does work, but it's a more of a support playstyle, where you're just like really good in team fights. But in terms of like solo kills, maybe you're strong early. But solo later on, not so much, so it wouldn't be like split pushing or anything. Let me grab this. Okay, I know Atarik main would not put a third point in Q because it's a waste of mana. But I I just want to do it because of just habit, you know. But I, I'm fully aware. Now what he'll do, or what Tarek mains will do is leave these two points, so level 12 and level 13. Leave it at two points so that it only costs 70 mana. Because you don't need the healing when doing jungle camps. You just need to be mana conservative and hit many times with your passive. Oh. Be calm, 
become invulnerable. Oh, someone's behind us. Get another slow from Randuins. There we go. So it's just like a slow machine because of our slow aura. Makes it very hard for them to move in team fight. There we go. Just keep healing if we can. I think we just end here, right? Oh. Just keep healing. <laughs> this is so strong. And yeah, next item will just be dead man's or these situational items. Uh, just pause if you need to. And that's basically it. That's the whole build. Just make sure you aim your E as well. It's very important because you could make or break a team fight if you don't uh, carefully aim. So, ooh. Heal, heal, heal. Try. Oh, I thought he poured it back. <laughs> I was like, I thought Zed poured it back to his fountain or wherever his shadow was. My bad. Wow. But yeah, Tarek is like king of team fighting. You, you literally just stun on repeat. Like, imagine AoE stunning, AoE uh, Trinomir ulting, and AoE healing. It's just so strong, like, in team fights. And then early on, because you keep, like, double hit with a ability, double hit with ability, it's like really strong as well. So in this game, unfortunately, we only got four kills, but we got a lot of assists and we're playing off of strong teammates, which is why this works in high elo because it's a support style that has strength early on. So yeah, that worked surprisingly well. Tarek jungle for you guys and also the second game of Tarek because the first one was, uh, Mike was muted, unfortunately. So let's have a look at damage. Okay, so I mean... I don't know why Caitlyn's all the way down there, but we're actually like tying in with the support Maokai and also top lane Aatrox. So we're smacking quite a lot, but the whole point is the utility. It's all about the slows and the stuns and being just unkillable tanky with uh, chem tank and Randuans. Imagine getting that super early, like no one kills you. So yeah, GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Vote down below which champion you want to see in the next episode and I'll be sure to do it. I'll see you guys all then. Cheers.